So when you walk into a fashion store and can't find what you're looking for, well, one Kenyan entrepreneur did not move on to the next store. Instead, Wandia Gichuru saw the gap as a business opportunity and started her own clothing line. She's now gone into mass production and is aiming at $1 million in revenue by the end of this year. Sarah Kimani found the story of a Vivo Active Wear a Made in Kenya clothing line. Let's take a look. It is mid-morning when we meet Wandia Gishiro at her clothing factory in the outskirts of the capital Nairobi. Here, they design, cut, stitch and prepare the colorful designs for the market. It is another day at the Vivo Active Wear clothing line. Vivo, Portuguese, Spanish and Italian for life is her brainchild. But I've always loved clothes and uh, we felt there was a bit of a gap in the market, um, especially of locally produced clothes that um, fit the modern woman. That gap, identified three years ago, led into a startup that now employs 30 permanent staff and boasts five stores in Kenya's upmarket malls, side by side with global brands. Before I was unable to bring up my family, but now I'm able. I can take them to school. I can put my food on table. The Kenyan fashion industry has for years concentrated on made-to-measure clothing. Vivo is changing that, going into mass production and also locally producing and giving Kenyans a choice. Late afternoon, Wandia moves to her flagship store. She has big dreams for Vivo, whose initial investment was $75,000. She is aiming at a revenue of $1 million by the end of this year. I feel we're at a turning point. I think within the next couple of years, um, I hope that Vivo will be across the region and uh, maybe in other parts of the continent as well. Hopefully even the viewers in South Africa will be able to buy Vivo outfits <laughs> in a couple of years. She sources the fabrics used in her designs abroad as Lycra is not locally produced and still imports a wide range of clothes that she stocks alongside her brand. The economics graduate says her story should inspire those with even bigger dreams. A start and don't take anything for granted. Do your homework, you know, look at the market, look at what other people are doing, um, borrow ideas, learn from others' mistakes, and, you know, never take any, never assume, never sit back and just assume it's going to work. I mean, you, it's a constant... Um, effort. Simply put, dare to dream. Sarah Kimani, SABC Business News, Nairobi.